So I was going to try and have another go at the flight test stock that I built from their speed build kit and then crashed because the wings folded in the middle. The wings just folded right up in the middle then repaired and reinforced and put a new motor on because the crash broke the original motor I had. It wasn't the specific motor they recommended anyway. Throttle cut off. Throttle cut off. Make sure we got throttle cut on. See if we can start this onboard camera recording. Yep, I think so. I think that's recording for what it's worth. I was up in it when it crashed. I mean, it goes on and on. It's not been on it. It's been up on other planes and things since, but it was up in it when it crashed. Okay. Okay. Since I've got flaps up because of the mixes I've got in, the flaps are serving as elevators here. If I when I put flaps down, only the outer surfaces serve as elevators. Flaps up. Hmm. I'm going to trim the rudder there. I don't know. There is a little bit of wind now. It's definitely not totally windless, but then I would think this guy ought to be able to stand some wind. I mean... He's got a fairly powerful motor. <sighs> we live in hopes. <sighs> it's kind of the nature of RC. Maybe not for some people, for me it is not. I think you have to live. You have to live in hopes else you'd never do anything. I had the runner out because I was trying to take some small, low-powered planes off. The wind is unusually coming mostly from the east, it seems, today. Take off flaps. <sighs> throttle cut off. Takes it helps if you take throttle cut off. Okay, I'm just gonna settle my hat there. And then we arm the ESC. This is a much more powerful motor. Well, <laughs> more powerful. It's had three motors on actually since I built it. It had the first one I bought I thought worked perfectly fine, but then it broke when the thing the wings folded over there and it crashed down into the field. I was doing a loop and whatever, and the wings just folded and uh, he's climbing steadily. There's quite a bit of wind. I mean, you know, he's basically standing still in the wind. I'm running him at fairly low throttle and he's just sort of standing still in the wind there. Now the wind seems to be seems to be coming from the northeast, the wind. It seems to be coming from the northeast, the wind. A rather truncated loop there, more like a somersault than a loop. <sighs> With the, he's got a carbon fiber spar in the wing now and pieces of plywood across the join. As in addition to their original, ju ju their original plan just calls for a sort of folded uh, foam spar. And then the two halves of the wing are made separately. And joined together by glue, and that didn't work for me. Maybe me, or maybe they have better quality hot glue and better quality hot glue guns than me. It did held for a while. It flew for a while. Then the wing just folded up. But it it shouldn't fold up now. <laughs> Hopefully, shouldn't fold up now. There's a bit more, slightly more elegant loop. I can't fly him that elegantly though. Uh, 
it's just to say now it's got a carbon fiber spar that goes right through pretty almost the whole length of their original uh, foam folded spar folded foam spar and then it has uh, ad additional pieces of uh, I think about three additional pieces of wood sort of thin pieces of wood plywood I think the front one's actually part of a paint stick that came with the kit glued across the front of the wing to reinforce reinforce the join between them I don't know about that timer I'm not running him at high throttle mind you I'm running him fairly low here except for when I'm doing the loop I'm punching the power up a bit when I'm doing the loop but otherwise I'm throwing him flying him at quite low throttle And part of the reason I come out early in the morning like this is because it's usually the best time of the day for no wind, but it didn't quite work today. There is wind that even a fairly decent sized plane like this can feel. And well, that wasn't very successful, but I mean, he can certainly roll. Well, I mean, he's got, you know, that whole, that, he's got like basically... When the flaps are up, essentially he's got full length, full wing ailerons, ailerons more or less, because the flaps and the ailerons are both working as ailerons. So Time remaining, four minutes. I did that because when I only had the, the outer ailerons, the outer surfaces serving as ailerons, I wasn't very happy with his roll rate. I thought it was a bit wimpy and I wasn't, you know, I like more control. So that's why I put that mix in to make the flaps serve as ailerons. And it was sort of supposed to be an Immelman turn, and it almost was. It's pretty windy. By no means a gale, but pretty breezy. Intermittently, I mean, it dies down a bit sometimes, but then it, you get quite a pushy gust from time to time. Yeah, I, I, I'm not all that confident in that either because with whether that battery time is right for this uh, motor and ESC. So I think we should probably try and bring him in. Landing flaps. Take off flaps. Well, maybe, landing flaps. Maybe we will have landing flaps. Yep. Try and bring him in on the runway. I, I, my depth vision isn't perfect. I couldn't tell whether he was over the runway or over the long grass there. <sighs> okay. Flaps up. Throttle cut on. Hopefully that should be okay. Oh. When he's resting on the grass, unfortunately, the, uh, the tail skid is not very long. On a hard surface is okay, but on the grass, the, the elevators tend to push against the grass, which isn't good because it strains the servo. When he's sitting, the, you know, the grass is basically pushing the elevators up when he's sitting on the grass. Not on a hard surface. Put him on a table, he's okay. The elevators aren't getting pushed up, but, you know, he sinks down, the, the tail skid sinks down more into the grass, and the grass ends up. See, I'll show you what I mean, famous last word. See. See, there's the tail skid sitting on the ground, and the elevators are well clear of the ground when he's on a flat, hard surface. But unfortunately, that doesn't work on grass. On grass, the, the, the skid sinks down, and the grass is coming up, and you end up with the grass pushing the... Um, pushing the... Uh, oh, I need to turn off that onboard camera. Pushing the elevator up, which is a bit of a strain on the... Uh, There's the button. There we go. No? Famous last word. Oh yes, it's stopped now. I thought at first it hadn't stopped. It looked as if it was still blinking, but no, it's stopped. Okay, there we go. So there you go, my somewhat abused flight test stalk, but meh, that's damage from the crash and whatever. Flying quite well again. Flying quite well again. Uh, I don't know what that motor is, but it's a, it's a pretty decent size Turnergy. It's a Turnergy 
D35369910 kV. Quite a large uh, motor for, for something this size. Huh. Not as rid ridiculous as some things I've seen people do. It's not ridiculously overpowered, but it's got plenty of power now at least. Flight test, stock, after several repairs.